Starting off my day with some fruit and a Belgian waffle. So, so we're eating waffles, fruit, and some milk with cookie. When you bought the waffles at Costco, they, you don't need it to add anything, but they're, all you need to do is heat them up, and they're delicious with no butter, with no sugar, with nothing, not even syrup. <laughs> hey guys, good afternoon. It is 1220. We're getting kind of a late start to the day. We've been up since pretty early. It just didn't get, we got a late start to the day, so... Anyway, got up, got her, got dressed, and initially I had just blown my hair out, and I did it without that like round brush because I noticed with the round brush it left like a hump back here because it's so big. I need to get a smaller one. So I would use that round brush when my hair is a little bit longer. Um, so I was doing it just with my paddle brush, and it wasn't getting something about the paddle brush just doesn't get the hair like straight. It was still pretty fluffy, so I just went ahead and straightened it, and I have a middle part today. Just to make sure I cover up that bald spot there in the back. And we are headed to drop off Emmy at the spa party for Girl Scouts. I figured since I'm going to be with her tonight at uh, spending the night at the zoo with the hippos, I'll spend the day with the little girl, like the few hours when she's at her spa party with the little girls and Andres. So dropping her off, she'll be at the spa party for like three or four hours and then Tonight we have to be at the zoo at 6.15 and we are spending the night with the hippos. So her stuff's already packed and in the car. I just need to go home and pack my stuff. And I also need to pick up my mom's Mother's Day present. Nothing like last minute. Look, air hockey table. Cool. So I have no idea what we're actually going to do while she's at her spa party, but I got dressed like as if we were doing something and I, it took me like 30 minutes to blow dry my hair and to straighten it. Maybe like 35 minutes. I actually think I started at 11.34 is what I think I saw and it is 12.22 right now and I mean I came downstairs and we got bags packed and stuff like that. So it really didn't take me that long at all and I did kind of half do it i mean it's straight like everything in my hair is straight it's just a little more fluffy than when i normally straighten my hair because i normally like take my time but i actually really like it it gives it body and it's nice so anyway girls brought some go i got blueberry maddie got strawberry and they're really easy because they can open them and do it themselves so let's see what we get into today because i really i really don't know i know i need to go to james avery that's about it. So, my hand Vinny looks so handsome. Spa day is so freaking cute. Look, they have that. This is a pedicure station. The, I'm assuming manicure station. So cute. It's Cutie Spatooties, right? That is such a cute name. Oh my gosh. And look, they have little... Oh my gosh, so freaking cute. So cute. And they have such a cute setup. And you guys know I love this roses. This is such a good idea for kids' parties. Like, such a good idea. Who came up with it? They did? Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Oh, you guys. Yeah, okay. So you're here for videography and photography. But I'm here for support. So, yeah. Are y'all related? Yeah, I'm her niece. Oh, okay. Such a cute idea. I love it. I'm here to Love, love, love it. And this I've seen on Pinterest. Super cute. Oh, my gosh. Love this setup. Okay, and I will get with you after. The dress is in the car feeding Autumn. We came to the James Avery in uh, La Quintera area in the rim because the one in Alamo Ranch, sorry, was like the line was out the door. Out the door. Finally, almost to the front. Only like 12 people still in front. Okay, got my mom's gift at James Avery. Took forever in a day and I'm so mad at myself because I was in line I got out of line I was like oh, I'll just get her a gift card because it was a, I was the next person in line like I was in line that was like a 30 minute line there was probably 25 people in front of me 
and I was like, well, I'll just get her a gift card. It'll be better. She can pick out what she wants. And I, I personally don't like getting gift cards. Like, I like getting gift cards, but I don't like giving gift cards. I would rather get something for that person, but at the same time, I don't want... I don't I would rather that person get what they want if that's what they want some people did that make sense I don't know some people like getting gift cards and there's other people that prefer getting gifts I don't mind either way a gift or a gift card but I prefer to give a gift versus a gift card so I was just like oh it's so impersonal I hate it but let me just get her a gift card because the lines were just atrocious and I hadn't got to spend any time with them so with um, the little girls so I was like well gift card it is right so I get out of line go into the other line and I, I'm the next person there's somebody paying and I'm the next person I kid you not in the same amount of time that it took for me to get to the register I could have waited in the other line and paid for the things that I wanted because I got to the register and I told the lady I said oh I'm here to buy a gift card and uh, she said, well, did you order online? I said, no, I didn't order online. And she said, well, if you didn't um, order online, I can give you a gift card, but if you want to like skip the wait and go do some running around and come back, you can order online and do in-store pickup and then it'll be ready in a couple of hours. And I was like, oh, well, that's kind of a good idea. But then I thought, well, no. I said, okay, well, maybe I'll do that. I, I don't know. So I got out of that line and I was like, no, I'm not going to, it's just a big old mess. My God, I didn't end up buying a gift card. I came back outside to get my phone because I was going to order online. She said it would be available pretty quickly. So I was like, well, I'll order online. Then when I got outside, I was like, dang it, I should have just waited in line. I was so mad at myself because when I was walking out, the person that was in front of me was already at a register. And that was like at 2.15. And then I came back outside because I left my phone in the car. I got my phone. I was like, I'm just going to wait. Oh, my God. So I went back inside. Literally killed an entire hour in that store going back and forth, back and forth. But it is what it is. I ended up getting the necklace that I wanted with the charms on it for my mom. And I even got a free bracelet out of it because they had a promotion that was like buy two charms and get a necklace or a bracelet for free. And I already got the necklace for her so I had one more free item which was the bracelet which was cool. I mean it's nice to get free things. But I just wasted an entire hour. And we wasted, like we left um, Rebecca the troop leader's house from dropping off Emmy at like what, 12.50? Um, yeah, like 1250 and it's three o'clock. We have done nothing besides drive and go to James Avery So all we're gonna we're gonna go have lunch somewhere And that's all the time I'm going to get and then we have to go pick up Emmy I need to go home and pack my bags. So the day just didn't work out like I was planning, but That's okay. The girls were they're fine. I mean Maddie seems to be okay <laughs> She's happy and Sitting back there talking to herself, huh? And Andres waited in the car and fed Autumn and changed her and was sitting there with her, playing with her and stuff, so she seemed to be okay too, so. It is what it is. What are you gonna do? Lunch is a chicken, we're at El Pollo Loco. Chicken black bean bowl. Looks delicious, 12 points. What'd you get, Manny? Yeah. I want to mean the chicken. Mommy, the, uh, the sausage. Oh. <laughs> Remember that got tacos too. Okay, I was packing my bag and I was like, the vlog. <laughs> I totally did not edit this morning. So I am I just got done editing and exporting. It packed my bag really quick. I'm taking my fun uh Walmart bag. Literally I have a clean pair of chunas, which are underwear if you don't know. Um a shirt to change because I'm gonna wear the pants that I have on to sleep in tonight um, so a shirt to change into tonight because I'm just wearing this shirt from Old Navy it's like a flowy top and I had on my lace shorts from this morning and I changed those um, now I have on leggings from forever 21 and then um, my hair straight so I don't have to worry about that and then I packed a dress for tomorrow I have on a bra and my clean pair of Jenna's maybe TMI I have chunklas that I'm taking so it's like three things of clothing in there I have my toothbrush toothpaste like uh, Bioderma to clean my face in the morning because we have to be out of there at 8 
so I know I'm gonna come home shower get ready for Mother's Day so like I just did something super quick I packed deodorant Bioderma one cotton pad toothbrush toothpaste and a hair tie and that's it pillow blankets air mattress and we are out of here I'm just waiting for this to see if it'll actually I'm gonna schedule it to upload because it's only five o'clock I don't want to freak anyone out and be like what in the world Melissa <laughs> you uploaded at 5 p.m. so and I want to try and feed Autumn before we leave so let me get to it leaving leaving Bye, Bye, Bye. I know you Oh, thank you. Be a good girl for daddy, okay? Okay. So, hi guys. Say so, good night, because you won't see him till tomorrow. Good night. See Mama. <laughs> Autumn, I love you. Mm, my God, is your hair. He's getting cray. I love you. Let me see. Let me see. No, okay. Mwah! Say good night. See you tomorrow. I love you. <laughs> Sorry, baby. She's gonna scream. We are at the zoo for roars and snores. And this child forgets regular tennis shoes. I love that animals just roam free here. <laughs> they just walk right out. Yeah. No big deal. Good job, baby. You've seen him at SeaWorld before? Really? Oh, I didn't know they had him at SeaWorld. A lot of reps. Good mood or something, or they're sick. We have had them off handling. Yeah. So um, we only handle them when they're you know in good condition. They're feeling good. On exhibits where people see oh, them, okay. so yeah, yeah. they're like behind the scenes. So this is the only time they they see people. So this is their yeah their her in enrichment yeah, really. Yeah. Look, yeah. oh, there it is. Yeah. She's trying to sniff. into a complete ball. All armadillos come from South America with the exception of the nine-banded armadillo, which we can find here in Texas. Um, but all other armadillos are from South America. Right now, he's not completely closed up into a ball. Don't touch. So, Dudley, <laughs> sorry. I forgot to mention something. Dudley might come close to you. He loves scent, like smelling stuff. He has a really good sense of smell. He has a really good sense of smell because he has very poor eyesight. So his sense of smell helps make up for it. So your shoes might smell a little bit of what Dudley loves to eat. Um, we'll discuss that oh, later. I'm so sure you my might feet smell, smell a little like bit like Dudley's food or whatnot. So he might come up next to you and put his forehead on your shin. Yeah. Or on your shoe. Please if you get scared, like please do not back at the reptile. But if you look underneath his shell, you can see little tufts of hair. So he is, in fact, a mammal. His shell is made out of keratin. Keratin is the same thing that our fingernails are made out of, and also our hair. So right now, I want everyone to touch your fingernails and imagine what Dudley is going to feel like later. So really? Can we run a little fast? Um, so about right now, that speed is about as fast as he can go. He might be able to go a little bit faster, but that's about as fast don't as he can go. Don't get him. Okay. Just get him You're okay. Hands on your knees. Don't touch him. Do you want me? You want me? You want me? You want me? You good? Okay. <laughs> Dudley will not hurt you. What do you think Dudley eats by raising your hand? Um, grass? Beetles and bugs, good. Grass, all good guesses. No, 
I didn't like Whatever's shoes. on our shoes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a lot of us might have stepped on some bugs. He loves bugs, so Dudley is an insectivore. Is an insectivore, so he loves eating bugs. He loves to burrow. So if you look at his two front feet, he has really long claws. He uses those claws to dig, and he only has them in the front because he only needs them in the front. I think she's worried because she doesn't have shoes. <laughs> I love that you came back to the shit. It's all because she does. He thinks she's afraid he's going to eat her toes. Kind of like the anteater. And he has really good sense of hearing. If you look, he has really big ears. His ears stick out a lot. It's okay. You're okay. He's not going to eat your toes. You have a question, Emily? Do you have a question? you want to move? She's a she's like, should I not wear this? Yeah. Yeah. She has open toes, I think she's afraid he's going to see her toes or something. Not from touching it. I'm in toes. Prissy, do you, like, do you have to be um, one of those people and eat one of those armadillo? Or is it with armadillo, anyone can catch leprosy? I believe it's the armadillo, if the armadillo has it, which is really rare. Um, if it, the armadillo has it and that person, any person would to eat the armadillo. Okay. Don't, don't One of its main predators is really actually the jaguars. Jaguars are really smart though. They will not waste all of their energy by breaking through the shell. Instead, the jaguar will wait until it's in a ball, bat the armadillo into water, which where the armadillo will pop open to swim so it won't drown. Yeah, have your yard. You did a really good job. Oh, there you go. There's it always look that way, or is it because so many people have touched ugly there? Oh, the no, they come in different colorations. <laughs> You have to back up. Mommy? Mm -hmm. You have to back up, baby. She's up there. So, owls are really cool. They are nocturnal, meaning that they can see at night. So, they have really big eyes. That's what those really big eyes are for. Owls. So, we have this really cool adaptation to where we can move our eyes around, right? So, every at the zoo <laughs> for Mother's Day. No? So a marsupial means a mammal who has a pouch. So kangaroos have a pouch in order to keep their joey in. Joeys have to go through a really long journey in order to get into mom's pouch. A joey is about the size of a jelly bean when it's born. And the joey has to climb very territorial. He likes being alone. He likes his space. So when it feels threatened or like, hey, you're getting in my area, he has the ability to jump up five feet and kick out with his foot where he has a four inch dagger claw underneath his foot. Mm. So. Emily, Emily. Yeah. 
Emmy. Emmy. Oh my god. Like a giant cat. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> There's three kids. Mm -hmm. Two boys and a girl. That's a mother. Oh, that's the boy. I just asked her. It's the boy. And that over so there is the girl. Oh my gosh, poor thing. He's like, what is all this like? <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a color that. <laughs> Big because they're about a year old. He's or right so now. by the glass. So, but and his the, name's not and the other one, yet the, like that. Um, and I the male is over there. So that that one no, this is one, totally this one yeah. is a male. So this is a girl. Is this a girl? No, I think this one's a male. <laughs> and then the other one is over there. Is laying on its back, right? Yeah. yeah. Look at him. <laughs> like in the camera. In the camera, it looks like they're like petting this lion. Like, look at this. Yes, like look, this is insane. Let them bring their flashlights. Oh, okay. Brother, brother, sister, king and queen. I can't really see the one. It's like Nala and Simba. Yeah. Yeah, right. Would you ask? But in a row. These are all the cubs, so they're wrestling. They like to wrestle. You know they like. Oh, you know the preserves. I think why they. The preservants on Monday. Wednesday. Wednesday. What? No. For him it is. This is, this is, I think this is the male because there aren't any cubs out. So this is the swap is sleeping. Oh, I think you can see them. They're all hanging right here. No, not all that. So, all right. So these guys are a Mexican short-tailed bat, and someone else there are fruit. It's such a cute little setup. Mm -hmm. Let the girls choose whatever they want. That's really cute. Yes, I brought an air mattress. Couldn't sleep on the ground. And we sleeping over there next to the hip bones. I am going to call it a night. Such a fun day. So much fun. I got an eye mask. I will see you guys in the morning. Close your eyes. When I say open them, open them, okay? Open. Can you pull this again? No. Try and keep them open wide. Open. That was better. Okay, say goodnight. <laughs>